So uh, there's a there's currently a riot going on outside of Netflix, and all the trannies and trans supporters or enablers or whatever are outside the building protesting. And uh, Dick Masterson and Vito, who is now the co-host of The Biggest Problem in the Universe, they're rebooting it together. Um, I've not seen it, but I, I would not have high expectations for it because Vito is literally insufferable. And this is the protest. This is uh, the two of them, I think, out together. We like jokes! 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 So after they're walking around saying, we like jokes, we like Dave, then they start chanting trans lives matter and now Vito is put on defensive because he also believes trans lives matter so he's thinking hmm hmm what can we do what can we do to counter this trans lives matter chant Vito has an idea he's running with the sign he has an idea he's going to make his stand he's going to counter the mob Uh oh. It's not working. The chant's not working. He has to change it up. Dave's a very funny guy. I like his jokes. I like Dave. I like Dave. Try, let's try I like Dave. Is that going to work? I like his jokes. I'm in charge of the protest now. I'm in Now they're ch they're chanting uh, trans lives matter. What can they do? What can they do? There was something, I guess he chants it at the very end. I'm waiting for it. Oh, I like that sign back there. It says, hate isn't funny. <laughs> I disagree. There was... I guess I missed it. The, I was fucking around with the video because it was so low quality. Um, Vito at some point starts chanting Black Lives. Actually, it might be in this one because they get. I think they get separated at some point. Vito starts having like a face off with the the protesters, and Dick is like just filming it at this point. Oh, okay, it wasn't this one. He starts chanting Black Lives Matter like back at the the, the audience. He's like, no, I'm not racist. I'm not like one of these alt-right guys, you guys. I love trans women. I love POCs. I love POC trans women guys. I just like jokes, and I like cuties. So this guy, like, just straight up, like, takes his fucking sign and tears it. Like, grr, you don't get to have this sign anymore. No, you don't. And you're part of the problem, Vito. They they literally tear his sign and then start screaming that he has a weapon. Like they they broke his stick in half, and now his pointy ended stick that they gave him is a weapon that they have to be afraid of. I can't imagine living in California. Yes, okay. get in the. There's my weapon. I'm just here to say that jokes are funny, people. Dave Chappelle is a funny guy. 
I don't know how anyone could deal with this fucking psycho bitch. Like, just inches from your fucking face, trying to push you back. Like, what? Because you said a joke is fun. I, I, oh, man. No, no, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I would be too fucking angry. And listen to their fucking voices. Listen to that fucking tranny voice. It makes my blood boil. I can't do it. I can't go to one of these protests. I would fucking snap. They don't. They don't care. Like they don't. These people don't give a fuck about you, bro. They don't give a fuck about your rights or anything. This is great to them. The, the less that you have, the happier that they are. And that, and you're and you're on their side, bro. You're chant. You're chanting the same fucking thing that they are, except that oh, I also like Dave Chappelle. Like <laughs> too fucking bad, retard. Okay, um, and then, from there, oh, here, after that, I don't have a video for this, I think Dick is holding on to it, because this is, like, really big news, this is, like, showing up on Fox News and MSNBC and shit, but, after this, at some point, this guy, who I believe is, like, an open LGBT homosexual, uh, slams dick against that concrete ball in the background, and I think he he says that he went to the doctor afterwards and he is concussed because he was slammed against this concrete ball for holding a sign that says Dave is funny. And that also made the news. So Vito is, like, getting all this attention from, like, I don't even know what to call it. They're not, like, alt-light. They're not, like, neocons. The, it's like the the gab boomers the gab boomers are like heralding dick and veto is like the the paragons of free speech right now very very twisted shit and then immediately after this i don't know i don't know i think this is after this because what happened is that after this and veto and nick Riqueta have like a beef on twitter because Vito is insufferable, and he uh, Vito is very aggressive for attention. If any, if you mention him on Twitter and you have any number of followers, he will immediately be in your replies, talking not only to you, but to everyone who replies to you, trying to get them to to, to argue with him. So in the Discord for the Dick Show, this message gets out, and it's um, it's Dick just defending Vito for making a statement. I don't have the clip. It's on Arcade's show. But Vito explicitly says that he does not support hate speech. So if he sees hate speech on YouTube, he will report it. He will flag it. He actively flags any video that contains what he considers to be hate speech and a violation of their terms of service. So people are like, why the fuck are you? Why the f like, why? How, how do you go? How do you parade around with this shit while also enabling this system? And then Dick says... That was the focus, dang, honestly, Vito isn't wrong to, Vito is not wrong to flag things he thinks violate the terms of service. But we live in a world where a few companies control all speech online and they are enforced randomly, so we hate that he does it. I think his principles are intact. Like, n no. He, he's willing to stand by multi-billion dollar corporations that exploit the fuck out of absolutely everyone that they're involved with so that they can put out a specific line of products which engage people and promote a specific worldview that is more profitable to them long term. That is not principled, that is being taken advantage of. And Vito is completely fine being taken advantage of all the fucking time. The appropriate response from Dick would be, yeah, that's really fucking gay and retarded. Like, <clears throat> it, it, it's, it's, they have this system, right? Where, where they don't want to hire human beings to, to actually work on YouTube and respond to reports. That costs money, and because they're in California, they have to give them like uh, insurance, and there's rules against contractors and shit in California, so they have to hire people. And instead of doing that, because they don't want to do that, they use robots. They spend billions of dollars advancing machine learning, and then they rely 
on user input to decide what videos are to be flagged or not. So Vito is enabling this system that not only devalues its own workers, which not only devalues the content creators, which not only actively reduces freedom of speech on the internet, which not only act, uh, actively reduces creative expression on the internet, but then he goes around saying like, oh, jokes are funny. Like, I, I, I just fucking hate Vito. I really, I don't have any good things to say about Vito. I don't think he's ever been funny. I don't think he has a good personality. I don't think he's likable. I don't think he's principled. And it's doubly frustrating because he wants attention and right now he has attention and all attention is good attention to him. So if you try to point out, it's, it's like if you try to point out his hypocrisies and his mind, he's winning because you've, you've gotten an emo he's gotten an emotional reaction from you. And it's like, he doesn't matter what it is or what the context is or how bad it makes him look. As long as you're thinking about him or criticizing him in his mind, he's a winner. So even this is, is like a huge, a huge win when people are forced to like notice something that he's done. And I really just fucking hate him. And I really wish it was his skull that got cracked because he's such a fucking piece of shit. And he deserves, he needs, maybe if you break his fucking skull on a concrete marble, like they did with dicks, it would jar whatever faggot fucking part of his brain is causing him to act like this. And he would be a better person from it. There's a non-zero chance that that would happen if it was him. But instead, we're just going to be stuck with this veto for the rest of our lives. Just bullshit. I really, I, I can't fucking stand it. And, and what's, what's really, you know, what's really shocking is that Dick then stands by him and says, like, no, actually, this is okay. Like, what, what the fuck do you mean it's okay, bro? <laughs> How much of your own shit do you have to lose to narking faggots before you start saying, actually, this isn't okay? Is it like you're in a position where you can't pick your friends anymore, so you have to deal with Vito? You want to reboot the biggest problem in the universe, so you have to deal with Vito? Vito could be r running around and, like, a G-strap sucking dick and, and, you know, doing whatever the fuck he wants and being as big a hypocrite as he wants, but you have to put up with him because that's your new co-host for the biggest problem. Like, grow some fucking balls, dude. Tell your co-host that he's a piece of shit. Stand up for yourself. Why, why are you allowing yourself to get bent over by fucking Vito of all people? He's so disposable. You're in L.A. Every other person in L.A. is another Vito. You could, t you could kill Vito, and you could kill the next ten replacements of Vito, and you would still have another Vito left over to do your fucking show for less money than the first Vito's asking for. You could go through a million Vitos, and you would still have some fucking Vitos left over. It's just bullshit, man. You could, yeah, you could be Vito. Soapbox in my chat says he could be a way better Vito. You could find people willing to pretend to be Vito who would do a more interesting job as Vito than the real Vito. I used to think that Dick was like a secret, like had secretly vasectomized himself and not told Marie, but now I think he's just a eunuch because Vito obviously took his balls at some point to, to stand up and say, actually, it isn't wrong to flag things which he thinks violates his terms of service. I'm so glad that my co-host is, is an automaton in the YouTube machine learning algorithm flagging videos for hate speech. What a good boy he is. It makes us look so much more likable when we protest or counter-protest at Netflix and, and talk up the antics of Dave Chappelle. He says Black Lives Matter. It's, it's good optics, guys. It's good optics. Really disgusting. I decided I hate libertarians. I don't know what I'm going to call myself, but I can't be libertarian because I fucking hate this.